We live in a short-term world. We're so focused on what's right in front of us, whether that's our social media feeds, the latest political headlines, or the latest fashion trends. Like, it's all about now. And the problem is, is that that kind of tunnel vision of short-termism is leading to a situation where we might only be left with a short-term as a species. So it's often said that we are the first generation to truly feel the impacts of climate change and the last generation to meaningfully be able to do anything about it. If short-termism got us into this mess, can long-termism get us out of it? For us, anything that we're saying, we do it in mind that our seven generations are sitting with us already. When you talk about how can we establish things for the next seven generations, we're not just talking about uh, the things that we can teach them, but the things that they have to know to survive. All my artwork deals with time on very different levels. Some are quite experiential, like a mirror ball that has 10,000 eclipses beaming around the room. And I've made clocks that tell the time on other planets. Humans are, are kind of evolved to think within our own lifespans. And so I think things like art um, can allow you to take a step outside of that, but not in a kind of science fiction way, more in a way that connects to Earth and connects to living organisms. Future Library came about in 2014. We planted a thousand trees just on the outskirts of Oslo and in a century's time they're, they're going to be cut down, pulped and made into a book. Over the next century, a hundred authors are invited year by year to write a new piece. Every year the author brings their text to the forest and people gather together and we go on the same walk through the forest and then they present their manuscript. The questions have gone from thinking about the paper book and digital you know, ways of reading and will the book still exist to will humanity exist, will there be a reader in 100 years and that's really shocking. My job description as set out in law is to um, act as the um, guardian of the interests of future generations so I um, feel pretty pressured <laughs> by that, that's quite a big um, job description. The Wellbeing of Future Generations Act was passed by our National Assembly in 2015. It requires all of our public bodies to demonstrate how they're taking decisions in a way which meets today's needs without compromising the ability of future generations to meet their own needs. I suppose one of the biggest test cases for the Act was around building a 13 mile stretch of motorway. It had been previously thought that this was a done deal. Not only is it potentially not the right thing to do for future generations, we would also be asking them to pay for it. I asked the government to explain to me how they were thinking about the long term there and how they considered future trends and scenarios and the First Minister came back and rejected the proposals. You know sometimes the points are made is well we've got enough problems to deal with now without thinking about the future but I don't think doing the right thing for current generations and future generations um, is mutually exclusive. Politicians are not renowned for their long-term thinking, so actually taking a step, not just to say in some aspirational policy document, but actually in law, no, we will require ourselves to think to the long term and we'll appoint someone who is independent and will hold us to account for doing that. That's quite a brave move. So we found that engaging with the long term changes the way that people behave in the short term stretching people's capacity to care about future generations means that they take responsibility for that future. None of us is going to live forever. We're all mortal. The question we're asking is, what do we want to leave behind? How can we leave a better legacy for future generations? How might we be better ancestors? Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed that, be sure to check out these videos next. And if you haven't already, hit the subscribe button and click the bell to get a notification each time we upload a new video.